Manikpur is a small village in Vasai town in the Palgar district in the Indian state of Maharashtra. History Not much of the rich and great history of Manikpur is documented. It is only passed on through the generations by word of mouth. There are instances of this village in some old manuscripts. In some old Portuguese manuscripts, this place was called Puri. No explanation is found on why it was called so. One of the assumptions is that earlier there might have been a temple on the lines of the Jagannath Temple in Puri in Orissa, and hence this place was named so. In Portuguese and English manuscripts this place was also referred to as Puram. This name gradually changed to Manikpuri, there is no instance of any written documentation on this. It is also said that many South Indians settled here due to the proximity of Bombay as it was earlier known which was rich in terms of industries, mills and factories. The name then gradually changed from Puram to Manikpuram. When the railway was laid by the British, the station that is now known as Visai Road was then known as Manikpur Road. So it was through the British that the name changed to its present status. Actually the Visai Road station was known as Basain Road after renaming Manikpur Road. Still the Indian railways refer Visai Road as Basain Road, even the station indicators show this. Geographically or topographically as you may call it, Manikpur is situated on a hillock and the base is of stone therefore it is believed to have very strong foundations. Hence it has withstood many floods and also earthquakes. Inhabitants The main inhabitants of the village of Manikpur can be sub-divided into four categories, Kunbi, Kumbar, Vadval and Kohli. Kunbis were the original inhabitants of this village. Starting from the Parvati cross to the Chauk, Thadbau, Karbau, Chinchkamda to Napada is where these people originally built their houses. Almeida, Kalako, Damelo, Lopez, Menezes are some of the surnames associated with these people. Kumbars lived across the Talao or the pond of Manikpur in line with the church road as the materials for making earthenware was easily found here. D'Souza, Gracias, Pereira, Alfonso are some of the surnames associated with Kumbars. Vadvils lived to the south of the church. This place was called Barampur. They were engrossed with agriculture and related activities. Gosal, Carvel, Vaz, Sariho are some of the surnames associated with Vadvils. Kolas lived along the creek and carried out the business of fishing. Shivachya Garacha, Gastya are some of the surnames associated with this community. The people of Barampur the Vadvils, would marry people in the south of Asai. Kumbars have their streak from Agashi to Maral. Kunbis would find their spouses within the nearby villages of Chulm, Gokavir and mostly within Manikpur. <laughs> <laughs> Allied occupations Even though Manikpur was built on stony land, there was sweet, semi-salty and salty land around it. Similarly there were salt pans across it. The number of people of Manikpur actually working in the salt pans was very low, but those engaged in associated activities was high. Transportation of salt and the making of wooden covers for salt were some of the activities. Sutar Ali carpenters, Kumher Ali potters, and Kolas fishing were engaged in their traditional activities. The railway added to their source of income. Teachers, clerks, railway workers, welders, fitters, mechanics, etc. used to frequently travel to Mumbai by train. Literature In the field of literature too, Manikpur was at the forefront. Rock Carvalho was an award-winning journalist and a poet and also the first journalist from Vasai. Fr. J. S. Miranda started the Shad Bad newsletter. Then Shanti Duda magazine was published first in Manikpur later transformed to the present-day popular Suvarta magazine. Manikpur was ahead in many of the other fields as well, Manikpur Urban Cooperative Credit Society, St. John de Brito Deed College, Street Xavier's Technical Institute, The Alcoholics Anonymous, etc. Franco Sanjav de Souza was the first student from Visay to receive the award of Best Catholic Student for the year 2005-06 for completing Diploma in Mass Communication and Event Management in Marathi from Xavier's Institute of Communication XIC. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Street Play. The magic of street plays was brought on to spread awareness by Dr. Dominic Lopez and now carried on by Duran Lopez and his troupe, Navner Mati. Rasik Ranjan, a group of enthusiastic actors, was formed in the early 1970s and died a natural death towards late 1985, as most of them started to earn and devote more time towards their families. This group was rejuvenated in 2004. Since then, Rasik Ranjan has not looked back, staging one play or act each year and also trying to involve as much as the youth of Manikpur to showcase their talents. Topic music Reginald Fernandez, a man from Goa, came to Manikpur when he was 10 years old and transformed the entire village, as well as Visai, with his music. He started the St. Anthony's Sangeet Mandal and taught music and the values governing life to the children of Manikpur. With his inspiration, many of the children of Manikpur are serving the Lord. It was 10 October 1946 when Reginald Fernandez, a young man, came from Goa to be a choir master invited by the late Rev. Fr. Dakunha for a period of just two months. He then transformed the village with his melodious sounds and warm affection. The people of Manikpur convinced him to stay on forever. When Fr. Ignatius de Souza was the parish priest of Manikpur, he formed the St. Anthony's Sangeet Mandal on 13 June 1947. There were plays performed to entertain the parishioners and also a baz band was formed for the weddings held in the village. The band His Jolly Brothers was famous from Manikpur to Agashi to Kolawada. The average age for the band members was 20. The choir began to get a lot of attraction. It was called for the Mount Mary Novenas at the Mount Mary Church in Bandra for the masses that were held in Marathi. When Pope John Paul II came to India in 1987 for a Eucharistic Congress in what was then Bombay, there was a program of prayers by the Pope when he came to Visai. The entire responsibility for the singing was taken on by Master Reginald. This was the first time that Marathi singing accompanied prayers. From here on, Master Reginald was called to each and every parish of Visai to teach them Marathi singing and songs. On 25 December 1996, the choir presented a program of Christmas carols which was aired on Mumbai Doordarshan, the Bombay branch of the National Channel of India. First cassette of wedding songs named Varad Gara the house hosting wedding was launched by William Mesquita and Franco Sanjav D'Souza. The songs in this cassette were rare songs. The lead singers of this cassette were Alex Kalako and Lucy Martin. The cassette was inaugurated by Master Reginald Fernandez on 1 November 1997. The choir members ranged in age from 6 to over 70. The choir members expertise themselves in playing many musical instruments, such as the keyboard, guitar, violin, tabla, trumpet, saxophone, mouth organ, sitar and flute. It is considered as one of the best choirs in Visay. During festivals like Christmas, parish feasts, Easter, the Feast of Mother Mary, the Lent period, especially on Good Friday, non-Catholics from all over Visay also go to Manikpur Church to listen to their music and singing. And not to forget his Port Eagle knowledge, his one Port Eagle song is still being played. Topic: <laughs> History of Saint Michael's Church. The Jesuits lived in the Visai Fort and had the parishes of Papti, Sandor, and Manikpur in their control. Up to 1605, people from Manikpur used to go to Sandor to celebrate the Eucharistic. But since it was far, the priests established a chapel in Manikpur in 1606. This chapel was made out of wood and had toddy leaves thatched as roof. Until 1608, priests from Sandor used to come and celebrate Mass and preach. Alexio Menezes, Archbishop of Goa, then bifurcated the parishes of Manikpur and Sandor. The land used to build the chapel at Manikpur was donated by a Portuguese lady, Dona Inés Francisca, to the Jesuits in 1572. The Jesuits had to sell off the land for some reasons unknown. It finally was bought by another Portuguese lady, Dona Filipa de Fonseca. She finally donated this land back to the Jesuits in her will when she died on 20 June 1625. Reverend Fr. Adrian de Silva started the building of the church, a task taken up by Rev. Fr. Manuel Perez and finally completed by Rev. Fr. Manuel de Costa. In 1739, Manikpur was raided by the Marathas, who came in through the east, led by Chimnaji Appa. They destroyed all the churches that were on their way to Visai Fort, and Manikpur was one of them. 
However it was later rebuilt in 1851 by Rev. F. R. E. R. Hull reference to this can be found in BMH Vol. 1, p.5 That year, the Jesuits fled the village and the diocesan priests took charge of the parish. They were in charge of the parish for almost 200 years, finally handing it over to the Jesuits in 1949. Since then, the Jesuits have run the parish. <laughs> 